Hey folks, today uh, I'm gonna do a quick update on my uh, on my everyday carry because it's um, changed quite a bit since the last time I did an EDC video. Um, I'm gonna go through what I have on me every day um, as I go about my, my business and uh, you know why why I'm going with it. Uh, first off, uh, this is the biggest change recently. Um, I've been pretty much carrying Glocks most of the time. Um, but, uh, and before that a, a Beretta, um, but the Beretta didn't fit my hand that well, and the Glocks, um, what I had, I, I, uh, I kind of went back and forth between a Glock 26 and a Glock 22, um, but I kind of found the, uh, the 26 a little bit smaller than it needed to be for, um, uh, for, you know, for my everyday use, um, and uh, just the you encrypts know, just a little bit too short. And I, you know, I could always carry a 19 mag in it with an adapter, but you know, I figured, um, you know, why not just carry a 19? And the kind of was kind of doing the same, th did the same thing with a Glock 22. I cut the grip down to be the like a 19 grip size. And once again, you know, why not just carry a 19? And uh, so I was going to get a 19, but um, the uh, the, I mean, the Glocks, I love them, but they don't fit my hand that well out of the box. And uh, I always end up changing the grip a little bit. So instead of getting a 19 and, uh, and uh, it, you know, kind of trying to reshape the grip again, uh, uh, I just kind of, I decided to go with, uh, you know, do a little research. And um, I found out that most people found the ergonomics on these CZs very good. And they have three back straps that come with them. So you can you know change it to fit your grip your uh, your hand size, and um, and I do like the striker fire guns, um, like the Glocks, but uh, I also like the, the trigger system on the 92G. I, I kind of like the way that works too. Once again, the 92G, um, uh, pretty much way too big for my hands. So decided to get a Glock 19 size gun with a, a trigger system kind of like a 92G. It's a hammer fired. Um, no manual safety, just a decocker. Um, so your first shot is long and heavy, and your subsequent shots are um, are short and light. And uh, I think it's a really smart system. Um, so anyway, that's my primary uh, handgun I'm carrying. Um, just like before, backup gun is this uh, uh, Ruger LCR, carrying it in a Black Hawk pocket holster. Oh, and this gun. Carrying it in a um, in a homemade holster, actually. This is a hybrid type holster. I uh, got some raw Kydex and shaped it for the gun, and cut out a leather back piece, made some straps, so that works really good. That's what I'm using. Um, it's really comfortable. Uh, also got, um, as before, a nice Kershaw. Um, actually, this is my second Kershaw blur that I've owned. The first one, I uh, I lost it. Actually, I was cutting some fishing line with it, and I left it on the tailgate of my truck, and just walked away and drove off without it, so I had to, you know, lost that one, so I had to go get another one, and uh, still love it. Um, just recently, I was uh, starting to look, I was uh, looking at some, um, uh, some, um, videos with Doug Marqueda and uh, I was looking at a lot of his stuff and um, I saw something that really stuck with me in one of his videos and it was um, and it was uh, uh, that part was kind of um, uh, focused on gun retention he was training some law enforcement officers um, uh, some different moves and something that I really liked that I saw was um, if you're trying to retain your uh, retain your handgun in its holster, you know, if someone's trying to go for your handgun, you can kind of keep it in place with your right hand, and if you have a nice uh, fixed blade accessible with your left hand, you can use it to kind of, you know, keep people away from your from your handgun, and uh, it's just one retention tactic. And so I got this uh, Cricket Obaki. It's from CRKT. Uh, I carry it on, uh, on my left side, just for just for my left hip in kind of a cross draw position and um, 
uh, accessible from right or left hand. Um, it retains really well in the uh, sheath it comes with. Nice kayak sheath. And uh, this isn't the uh, strap it came with. I made that, and that's what I, I carry in the belt on that. Um, so that works really good. So definitely love that. Um, uh, other than that, um, just got the boring stuff. Actually, you know, one more thing I, that's I find kind of interesting. Uh, this nice little Bushnell flashlight um, model, I guess, 20149. It's a nice little mini LED light, really bright for its size. And I carry that because it's light and small and easy to pack. Definitely like that. It's good to have a flashlight. And then it's got this Samsung uh, Galaxy 6. Uh, really liking that. My first smartphone. Um, and uh, of course, another boring stuff wallet and keys. So that's what I got on me every day. Um, it looks like a lot, and it is, um, but uh, just the way the way I have everything positioned, um, it's really not hard to pack around. Um, and, you know, everything has its purpose and its use, and uh, and uh, this uh, setup is really working for me right now. So that's about it for now, and uh, thanks for watching.